Hey, it's Berserker here. We're doing the uh, Tusker Logger since 1922. It is the finest quality logger at 4.2%. It's a 500 mil bottle here. This is from uh, Nairobi, Kenya, East African Brewers Group. Um, it's been brewed in East Africa since 1922, named after the elephant that killed George Hurst, one of the Brewery's founders. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, as sad as that is. It's uh, a little bit of an <laughs> interesting uh, knowledge to obtain there. I obviously haven't read this before just now. <laughs> okay, okay, Africa, Tusker. High quality malt made from uh, equatorial barley grown in the base of Mount Kenya's choicest hops and water that springs from the renowned Aberdour mountain ranges. Tusker's famous crisp refreshing refreshing taste and finest quality has continuously earned gold medals in the prestigious international Mon Sections Award. Okay, so pardon me while I open this here. And the price wasn't too bad. Alright. That's 500 mils are into a stein. Holy shit. Alright, uh, $4.29 for that beer. That's not too bad. Okay, yeah, getting a lot of Euro lager type smells out of this, and uh, smelling some sweetness. Oh, yeah, this is a. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's good. And here's the head, headshot. Pretty good for a lager. Um, not a whole lot of carbonation in the body any longer. Um, quite light, quite pale, quite straw colored. Um, you know, that's a great taste. This is a, the kind of beer I like. Super refreshing. Great barley taste, great lager taste come out of this. Reminds me a lot of like a Lowenbrow or a, one of those kind of a little bit milder in the hops. It's not too hoppy. Wow. That's great. That's cool. I was expecting it to maybe not be quite so uh, Euro lager ish. Well. Just nice, clean, mildly sweet. It's fairly sweet, really. Great. Nothing to say, it just tastes like a picture perfect girl lager. Yeah, quite crisp, a little bit of club soda ness to the body. Get some of the bitterness in the middle. And then just a great barley, uh, high quality lager taste rides out. It's a really awesome beer. <clears throat> yeah, great summer beer. A little, little bit of club soda ness to it at the at the beginning, but it all in all, that's about the only negative. It's a little bit weak uh, up front. Um, great, like, malty flavor, though. I really like that. If it just had a little more hops, probably would maybe mask that club soda a little bit of weakness up front, possibly. It's really good. Um, Kind of numbs the mouth. Kind of a numbing type hop, almost like um, 
don't know what variety they're using here. 4.2%, it's quite light. Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on. It's just, this is pretty decent tasting. Yeah, kind of, kind of light viscosity, quite club sodaness up front, just slight sweetness, carbonation's a little bit eccentric, but not much. Um, in the back of the flavor, in the finish, it's just great maltiness and kind of the mild hop, uh, kind of a vegetative kind of hop, kind of a kind of a vegetable like hop or you know, kind of flavor. Um, Yeah, I would just compare this with a, a whole lot of Euro lagers, really. Um, the ones are a little bit lower on the hop end of it. Um, you know, it's a great beer for tacos and nachos and, you know, summertime party food. Yeah, not, uh, not picking up a whole lot of alcohol or anything. Basically, this review is over. <laughs> I'm just gonna maybe I'll rate it before I'm even done. I think it'll hold up till the end. So their head brewmaster got killed by an elephant. <laughs> so that's the story. Hmm. Well, I don't know if this would win gold medals anymore. Um, it's pretty good. It's it's definitely really, really good for a you know a lager. I do like the, the European lagers quite a bit, and I do I like you know from all over Europe. And this just tastes just like one of them. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Joysku or whatever, the uh, Croatian one. Uh, well, that one's a little more heavy in the malt. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of beers that taste just like this. Just a little bit different. Not quite as light up front. It's really light up front. It'd be a great beer for Africa because it's so light. But then there's a, quite a bit of sweetness mixed with the bitterness in the finish. Yeah, I'm going to give it a, it's a 9 out of 11. It's it's a pretty damn good lager. Um, it's not an 11 out of 11 for me. It's not, it's not there yet, but it's definitely not shit beer. Okay, it's uh, definitely, if you're interested in trying it, don't hesitate to pick it up. It's definitely a beer you might want to try. even lacing and stuff so uh that's pretty good <clears throat> you know the hops they taste I, I got the a garden variety hops uh, I'm gonna be getting a real beer hops this year though and uh, my garden variety hops kind of taste and smell kind of like what's in here a little bit so that might be they might have a, a primitive hop variety or a, a certain hop variety that they're growing in Kenya or there so It's probably brought brought down by this guy's last name, Kenya. I don't know what country colonized Kenya. Hearst. That sounds English, right? Um, but it's a it's a pale lager. I think it would have been the the Dutch or somebody. I don't know my African history or whatever. I don't know who doesn't necessarily have to do anything with the imper uh, imperialism either it could have just been some other dudes that went down there didn't know how dangerous elephants were apparently huh man that's a way to go away <laughs> freaking oh yeah pretty good lacing on there
good to last drop. Yeah. Not a real sessionable beer for a lager for me. Quite satisfying. Uh, well, you could do a couple, a couple of these a little. The Euro loggers, I don't. They're not. Uh, it's like domestic pails. Uh, the uh, malt liquor beers in the states and stuff. Uh, the American styles. These beers are made for alcoholics. I can't see myself drinking too many of these. Really, maybe three at the most. But maybe some people can can pound Euro lager like that. I don't know. Anyway, ranting. Neat. Check it out. Tusker. 